How's it going everyone? And welcome back to our final segment of our DIY Spa Week. I'm Bree, and it has been a pleasure to bring you these tips, tricks, and techniques all week. I hope you've learned a lot, and I hope that you've been joining me in these uh, processes and DIY projects. So the very last thing that we're gonna do for this week is I'm gonna show you how to do a foot soak. And so this foot soak in particular is a honey lemon foot soak. Very relaxing, here we go again. So all you're gonna need is just a couple ingredients, three in particular. So I just took one whole lemon and sliced it up into thin slices. We're gonna need the lemon because the lemon and its acidity is going to take off that dead skin on your feet. And so it's really good for a foot soak, as well as about two, one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I like to use raw organic apple cider vinegar. Uh, I believe that the proper are a lot more potent and again uh, more natural and then we have about a half cup of raw honey and so down here I have my bin and so feel free to use a foot soak bin you could even use a foot massager I just had a 15 quart um, storage bin in my room and so this is a great opportunity to utilize this as a foot soak bin and so I'm just gonna start by taking my honey and placing that in the bin getting that all in there again just about a half cup honey is really good if you've been joining us throughout the week honey is an awesome property for healing we know that honey is an antibacterial as well as it has a lot of soothing agents to it, uh, healing agents as well. Um, it's great for healing different wounds that you might have on your feet. And so that's why we wanna use honey. And then I'm just gonna add my two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to my warm water. The apple cider vinegar is also an antibacterial and not only that, it's an antifungal. And so that's gonna be really good for your feet as well. As you can see right now, I'm just taking my whisk and I'm just mixing in that honey as well as that apple cider vinegar into the water. And once it's all mixed up from there, I'm going to take my honey slices and place that into the water. And like mentioned before, the lemon slice, I think I just said honey slices. <laughs> if I did, I meant to say lemon slices. Um, the lemon slices, again, are really good for, and um, the acidity in the lemons are really good for your feet. It's going to help to take off that dead skin um, and really ensure that your feet are nice and soft. So the point of a foot soak is to make sure that we can rid of that dead skin on our feet, take off any grime, any oils that we may have. And then once we're done, we wanna go ahead and scrub our feet down with a sugar or salt scrub. If you joined us for our Monday segment, we actually created a pumpkin spice uh, sugar scrub. And so this is a perfect time to use that on your feet as well. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna soak my feet in this foot soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then once I'm done with that, I'll take my feet out, dry them off really good, and then we'll take that pumpkin pie sugar scrub or any other salt or sugar scrub that you'd like to use, and you're gonna scrub your feet down from the bottom all the way to the top in between those toes. And then once you're done, make sure to rinse them off really well and dry them off, and you'll feel that your feet are nice and smooth. Uh, you won't have that dead skin on there. Uh, it's a really nice, natural way to be able to give yourself a much needed pedicure uh, at home. So hopefully this helps you. I just wanna thank you guys again for joining us for Spa Week, and I hope that you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.